Hello guys, Dark here and welcome to this quick tutorial. So today guys, I'm going to show you how to install the item properly and if you get this error, I will teach you how to fix it. When you're installing the item, latest version 1.51.0, as you can see, you get this error. The prod processor entry point set default the YY directories could not be located in dynamic link library kernel 32 dll now from my research i figured out that this error was caused by the windows update so if you don't have windows update or reinstall the windows and don't have the updates installed the microsoft doesn't release the windows 7 updates anymore so basically they dropped the windows 7 from core and they don't want to deal with it anymore and they just deleted every single update they have put on the website so you cannot download the windows 7 updates anymore what do we do now the only version that can open this item that io is the windows 10 so how do we download it we download 51 point and then we go to search the Google for old versions, right? But no, don't do this, guys, because you're going to get Trojan. Trojan, Trojan is a Trojan horse from the mythic, and it's basically a virus name or virus title. And what it does, it does the same thing as Trojan. It comes with the good things like, hey, I'm a good program that you want to install. It gives you a program. But after some time, just overnight, you're gone. Your PC is gone. Or your information is gone. Basically what it does, it gains the control over your computer and your sensitive data, like your credit cards and stuff like that. And you need to like reinstall the Windows or just deal with it. Just don't want the software it can pay money and stuff like that you don't want to deal with it and I know it because I've tried it in the newer nearest Windows installation so I reinstalled the Windows and I downloaded the uh, older version for item from another website which is very very favor like it looks legit but it's really not legit because after you try to install the atom it gives you atom but it gives you a trojan too let's don't waste the time and let me show you how to download the correct version the correct version for the atom is 1.3 point something not 1.4 after it hits 1.4.0 they they did this update kind of thing that makes you require this kernel 32 dll and you don't want to deal with it because you can't open now let me click the control f so i'm going to search 1.40.0 click up click up and as you can see i'm going to get better but after the beta there is a 1.39.1 1 .1. and i'm going to click on this because i need this version all right which one you need to download as you can see there is a lot of stuff and let me show you how to know correctly go to start menu computer right click computer properties and as you can see 64-bit operation system all right so that's how we know what operation system we have now which one to download as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. Noob, key, j, deb, tar, ip, and json, and zip, and stuff like that. As you can see, there's the atom window zip, but I don't want to deal with the zip file because I don't want to manually install. I want it to be automatic installation. As you can see, there's the RMP stuff, but right here, we got what we need. We got the atom setup 64x and atom setup x all right which one to download if you have 64-bit version you download the 64-bit version or the atom setup if you have 32-bit version you download the atom setup now i have a 64-bit version as you can see 
and I'm going to hit the item setup of the 64 you go save and I'm going to rename the file because every item download has the same file name alright 1.39.1 I believe this was a version that I'm going to download and it's cool while it's downloading let me show you what the item is I have it installed already but I'm going to reinstall it for you and when I'm doing this uh, installation I'm just doing this to show you that it's not acting like the other one like this one when you try to open it's not going to hit you with this message and just going to proceed with the installation all right so why is this good it's good because it gives you a uh, cool stuff mostly and as you can see you go echo and it's gonna give you a php echo what do you want to echo i want to echo something right i want to echo let's see hello and uh, there you go but it's not going to show you on preview and stuff I'm going to show you where is the preview and how to you how can you get it I don't know if you can get the PHP preview let me actually search the package if you can get the preview of the PHP because you can get the preview of the HTML and I don't know if you can get the preview of PHP let me go ahead and try search it PHP preview preview ultimate free resource in code tick preview preview plus top preview let's see what this guy is saying uh, small package preview code samples live update of the preview show loading error messages update using using support languages uh, let's do let, 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 start live script embers no it doesn't give me a preview of php although it gives a preview of lots of stuff i guess oh, let's see oh yeah there you go all right so we don't have the preview of a php although we have the preview of html html preview and after you search it you must to download from this guy harm sk just click install wait for about two minutes or something like that probably a one point something minute and it's going to show you a settings uninstall and disable that means it's installed already if you go ahead and click settings as you can see right here is a press ctrl shift h to uh, open the preview so it's a toggle it's a short key to open the preview on new tab let me show you how it looks like I'm going to click alt a because i re uh, used the script and as you can see it shows a preview and if I change to it well let's see gray okay. gray or let's say uh, light gray like that it's a great thing all right it's a live preview and how do I change the key binding you might ask it's like that Keybind resolve. You just open this and just click, uh, click the short key, uh, shortcut. What you want me to do, and there you go. I have a keybind right here. What does it do? Key mouse. There you go. Alt A. I changed this. I changed Control Shift H with this one. I didn't try to change into other stuff, but as you can see, you save, you close it, and you reopen, and it's going to be updated keybind now we have the file downloaded right here and we can open it. after i do this it's going to appear in like 20 seconds until it figures out what to do and after that it's going to delete my old atom and my atom shortcut will lose the file location and after that it's going to reinstall it again as you can see I have the installation going on right here and on my tab it says the installing without the 
proper icon for some reason but there is a green bar which is filling and after it fills fully it's going to be fully installed it's going to auto open with a welcome screen and you can basically just say no to a welcome screen don't show me again or something uh, you can go to a lessons and it's very good tool it's very helpful a uh, text editor uh, and helps you with the suggestions how to complete and basic bunch of stuff you can as, as I showed you you can add some uh, extension add-ons and uh, it's very very nice and I showed you how to do the preview of your and it's going it's updating on live like whenever you type even one word it's updating on the HTML previous showing you how it's going to look it's very good it shows you everything and after you're done you're cool also also I forgot to mention you can adjust the uh, the sizes of it and that's how you that's actually how you make the website for the PC and website for the Mac and website for the phone you basically adjust the sizes so your menu when they scroll uh, when they make it minimal the menu doesn't completely disappear it just just adjust the size or change the stuff now as you can see it did not go to a welcome screen because it saved in the data and as we can see yeah there we go now uh, one more thing that you need to know know about the item when i load with the style on as you can see it opens the style but what might happen to you is uh, you, st you type style style and you start typing stuff and it doesn't do anything so it's a, it stays a gray it stays a gray but it shows you a preview but it doesn't show you how to complete so what do you do in this case you basically go to this HTML and you go to auto detect you click it once and then there, there you go it's going to register it as a different language until that it's going to be it's going to register only HTML but after you do that it's going to register the other language too and it's gonna be trying to like figure out where you type and stuff like that so it's gonna give you auto complete and suggestions and change the colors based on them all right anyway I think this is the all you need to know about the item how to install and what it does thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.